Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tuesday. Welcome to Tuesday, and welcome to, as we promised, a haul. Uh, a pizza. Are you uncomfortable? <laughs> Hi, can I take your order? Uh, hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? You might be wondering why we are so close up. And if you're following me on Instagram, you know what we're about to say. If you follow me, you'll know tomorrow. If you don't follow us, which some of you might not have Instagrams, we are close up right now and cropped right now because we would like to make a little announcement before we get into today's haul. We did something. The thing we'd like to announce is our second drop for the Full Cart Club. So we are both currently- Yay! We got new merch! In our Full Cart Club second drop clothing. How- Look at how spooky he is. How could I, how could we not do a Halloween yes. merch drop? Absolutely. So we, these are not the only designs. No. We don't have as much as last time because there were a lot last time. It's a limited collection. But I will, I will like right now be design. going through all of the designs that we have and they come in like t-shirts, they come so in cute. sweatshirts, all the fall things like hoodies, The sweatshirts. hoodie, I will say, is so soft. Just as good as the pink ones we got last time. Yeah. We have this design, which I absolutely love. I wore this to the Nothing bins today. It says nothing scares me i shop at the bins because we all know if you go to the bins you have seen the most horrific things on little, earth so you're kind of terrifying. you're kind of set for everything and then we have ghosty the i love him full we updated the cart too yes it's full of sweaters full cart club ghosty it says full cart club I yes that. So this one, this design comes on a handful of the backs. This is the what I'm obsessed with. The new, like, the seasonal full cart club logo. It is like a dripping blood, like, classic horror it's like story a classic look. 70s horror story. Which Which you might not be able to see it in the video, but this is the same font. And so is the font on his back. It's just really small. It's tiny. And then this is like a different, this is kind of like a um, horror movie more font. It's like that, a credit font. Mm -hmm. But again, I did a little bit of tracing on some things, but I hand drew everything. I hand drew Ghosty. Yeah. I hand drew the new like fall cart. It might be kind of hard to tell, which actually I'll get into that when we pop up that design. But we also have full cart club Skelly and you're seeing pictures of that yes. now and Love what that Skelly. design looks like. I also hand drew, he was the hardest I thing in this whole drop to draw. Like I had to draw every single rib separately and like place them on his body Put and erase, erase it so it looked like it overlapped well. I hope he looks good. I think he does. I think he's adorable. But I love him. And if you saw my Instagram picture that I posted yesterday, weirdly, I did not plan that out, but he looks just like my real he life does. skeleton. He does. He looks like the t-shirt. Yeah. That's funny. And then we also have the classic but seasonal version of the full car club logos has the fall cart in the middle and the blood dripping full cart club around it. That also on the back, if you get it as a hoodie or a sweatshirt or a t-shirt, comes with the big like full cart club blood dripping letters. And it's just a little different. It's like the cart, I turned the color of the metal of the cart down. I also kind of just fixed it up. There are some of the lines that I just- We thought cleaned were... her up a little bit. Yeah, you I did, fixed her up. What do they say? Like squash some bugs? Yes. If you're in the app store. <laughs> and then I also redrew everything in the cart to make it look more fall like it's everything it's in it nice. is like sweaters and it's like browns and neutrals yeah, there's and a cute little purple something something with a little polka yeah, dot darker colors just to kind cute. of like fit the vibe skelly and ghosty got their own cards they that they're cart. shoving around and then we also have this design it only comes in a sticker right now but if you guys for some reason really want me to add it onto something else we, will. we have the power to do that say no more but this is the bin monster design this is what this is my personal favorite <laughs> so i love 
love that. I had this idea for a long time because we kind of have been thinking for a couple months that we wanted to do this because of like, course uh, prior to them being like designed yeah so this is like beginning of the again, summer again we, like, we should do this halloween having merch now how could, could i not not do it yeah. are you kidding me so i had an idea at first that putting it on a shirt and saying like it's in the bin kind of like it's coming from the house like the like horror movie <laughs> like call on the phone thing but i don't know i just like it as a sticker i like it just as a design and so as for now it comes just as a sticker but i think he's spooky and i think he's cool i like his little eyes and of course all of the designs come as stickers as well yes. so you Put can it in your if, laptop. You, if you just want the sticker i tried to i noticed last time again squashing the bugs i noticed yes. last time some of the designs as stickers came very big and yeah, so i made massive. them a little bit smaller last time i was oh like if i can make it as big as possible why not do it but then i saw them in person i was like we don't That's always want we, sticker. we don't always have room <laughs> for stickers that big so they're slightly smaller and they can fit better on like laptops or and like on the back of your phone on the back of your your car yeah. if you want ryan and i both i have got one of my window get and lose we're going thrifting sticker on our car the license plate. and so if you're interested in getting any of the merch that we ah, just showed you guys lovely it actually is not out yet but when you guys are seeing this give it about like literally 12 hours mm -hmm. it's i think it i set tomorrow. it up to come out at 8 a.m central time central Standard on time. fullcardclub.com and if you haven't noticed actually our merch is now right on our <gasps> youtube and it's that. it's just right wow. under under the video you just scroll down scroll just down a little, little bit. bit so it should be there too like on thursday's video Ooh. we'll see it'll be so fun but yeah if you are interested in anything we appreciate it that is that for this little announcement but we still do have the haul for you and i did want to tell you before we get into it first off if you're new here please hit the <sighs> subscribe button if you like all things fall and thrift and reselling and poshmark yeah etc and if you are not new or new here please give us a thumbs up we greatly appreciate it it shows oh. us what videos you like the most which ones we maybe we, we should missed. leave those in the drafts <laughs> for next time also i would like to tell you guys that our original plan was to have the 10 bolo coat video come out on thursday but if you did not know ryan is student teaching kind of i the, started today he so. has to get up really early this week and so i want to give ryan a break this week and so he won't have to be in the thursday video tell? that picture i just showed you of skelly with the cart i went to the bins all alone today and i got it and did really good and guys, i know what it is i'm not gonna lie it's good stuff he like, showed me it's so fall what do they call that 90 percent of that cart is fall stuff like it's really good stuff. it's a real like fall fall haul so that's coming thursday it's gonna just be me but get excited it's really good things and now that we're seven minutes in i suppose we should get let's into this haul do the haul so that i'm gonna be in let's let week. ryan begin <laughs> okay so first up so this is the first bx so this is just this really cute little fun croc bag i absolutely love this i think this is so cute the brand originally is max new york which oh. like not a brand that I'm gonna pick up any other time. Unless it's this cute little crack. Very on trend. I love this. Very fall. This little bag. I am obsessed with this. I love this little like airplane looking closure. It's super cute. I love the little style and it just like boop. It's very uh, hold your phone, hold your wallet. It's too, I thought it was like one of those fun like wine bags for a hot minute, but I was like, whose bottle of wine is this big? That's very blocker. I like the, the detail of the double strap. That's I know, cute. I think that's really fun. Yeah. I like that. And then I got a nice little hobo. This is the Lauren Kiss Lock wallet. I just sold one of these in pink and i found another one in beige which beige. i love beige then last up for bags is one that i haven't listed yet i forgot to take pictures of it last night oopsies it's this lug is this the puddle jumper lug nuts yes. is this the puddle jumper i've yes. i'm like 90 percent sure that it is i've never seen one in this fun little polka dot pattern though but unfortunately on the back it has kind of worn away a little bit but especially like in the bins like this is an easy 25 bucks and you lugs know? lugs usually have somewhere to them because they're meant to like take wear that's the point and they travel with you yeah. and they can be in, like storms they can be when it rains yes. like that's the whole point they can survive those harsh canadian winters and then i got a couple of belts the first one being 
this. I am obsessed with this belt. I love it. So there's like the chain detail on the back and it has all these really fun plastic rings and the little clasp on the end of it. So when you wear it, you wear it like mid-century modern. Yeah. It's kind of like, I imagine like if Velma from Scooby-Doo went to like Woodstock, this is what she would wear. I think it's super cute. And then I got, it sounds like a zombie with chains attached to it or like a ghost. Like it's a ghost like, from um, Christmas. Yeah. Past. I was just like, who's that dude from like Christmas? Yeah. And then I got this belt. This one does not have a brand on it, unfortunately, but I just loved this like broken in worn looking silver detail. And then it has this really pretty tooling mm -hmm. on the belt. I don't really have any accessories. I have like a home thing and a scarf, so I could show you that. So this is a cow print pillowcase. Ah. I like this. this um, I honestly, I don't know, I might bring this to our consignment store, but also like cow print, if you didn't know, is like really in for clothing. It's super popular. So let me just cut the bottom off and make it a skirt. Then I got this really cute scarf. It's by a brand called Blarney Woolen Mills. Bla Why do I know Blarney? The Blarney I Stone. I don't know. Isn't it like if you kiss it once, you're a good storyteller. If you kiss it twice, you're like a frog. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. People from Ireland, please tell me. I was gonna say, it's made in Ireland, and I first just picked it up because it's super nice wool feeling, but like, a, like epitome of fall colors. I like, love are you kidding? this brown. I need this in a leather jacket. If I wore scarves, I would keep this, because like, I just, the colors are so cute. So I'm actually gonna sell that, because the comps are like 50 bucks from that, so. From the Blarney Stone. Then I'm copying Ryan. This is an Airy bra, which I don't ever pick Airy. It's actually Airy. offline by Airy, which don't I don't, know. I don't know what that is. I think it's their like out, like they're like high, they're like granola girl. But this is really cute. It's really cute. I like the ombre tie dye. Then we have this dress. This is my first time finding this brand, and it is called I love this dress. Fifteen Twenty, and it's an extra small. That label just seemed kind of expensive to me, so I was like, and sure. also like anything this color, I'm immediately but gonna pick up. But look at this. It doesn't even look real. <laughs> It's okay. like edited in. It literally looks like a cartoon. It's 100% silk. And like, okay, at first I thought this was like an 80s dress. I was like, oh, like an interesting vintage dress. But this is like a newer brand and it's it's expensive. It's this like, material is fascinating. It's like 150 to 200 bucks for oh these God. dresses. I have yet to find like the model picture for this one. And I kind of hope I do just because I don't know if I can do it justice. But I like that it's 100% silk. It also has pockets. I so am obsessed with this dress. It's so A fun. nice little extra detail. Then we have have this Sunday or no not Sundance I always mix up the two soft surrounding size medium waffle thermal oh these are cute I think I've sold this one before it mm -hmm. has like lace up the sleeves people and like it just it. has that like really really tiny snag there that wouldn't affect anything especially in the bins I will pick up soft surroundings yes. then I have this torrid size one blazer and it's funny I actually later in the week at a different like at a thrift store I found this in a size three as well so oh. if you're interested Interested. I do have it in a size three. It's not in this haul, but this is just like a single button torrid black blazer. Cute. And blazers are always good for fall. So I love to pick up blazers for the fall. Blazers. So I also, we went to a Goodwill right after yeah, there we might went be... to the bins. So some of this stuff is Goodwill stuff. That's what I'm realizing too. There's just a couple and we'll tell you when it is. It's all because stuff on top. Unfortunately, the day that we both went to the bins they wasn't as great as always. <laughs> so we went to Goodwill. But the day that I went, it was really good. It was really good. <laughs> okay, so this, I got these at Goodwill. This is a pair of Tory Burch. I believe these are the Riva flat, if I'm not mistaken. They are a size eight and a half. Yeah, so these are those eight and a half, black patent leather, good classic little Tory Burch flat. For being the Rivas, they're in very good shape. I was gonna say, these but also- These things are usually busted. Yeah, I see them all the time with like, this is missing, or like, they're Tons just of bad. Cracking and they're stuff. just ugly. Yeah. So that was exciting. And then this also came from a Goodwill and I'm very tempted to keep it. So the brand is Comfort Colors, which if you don't know. It's just like the fraternity brand. Yeah, they just make comfortable t-shirts and like the college girlies and like younger people really like them. I love this sweatshirt. Like I want this for me and I might keep it. And it's also really big. And I love that like the sleeves are different and they're like, oh, like how fun is she? And then, so this was from the bins, Law and Order. The fun little, like... I apparently skipped this, and Ryan was like, how dare you? 
this is bad. Okay, then this was from the bins. This is a cute little free people top, size extra small. And I like this because it has this cute little flamingo. I'm thinking this is the same shirt as that one that has like a lemon and lime. Yeah, on. it definitely is. I don't know. These like thinner free people t-shirts definitely like they do good. It's the but stuff, they just don't sell for like a ton. It's the stuff that Ryan can sell that none of us can. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then this also came from the bins. This is Zara, size large. And New it's, label. So imagine. It had, cause it's kind of hard to like hold up. It has like a puffy shoulder with like a ruche detail on it. It's so something really hard to tell in the video, but yeah. I'll get this listed. I'll have a model picture hopefully. So like go check my Poshmark in the description if you want to know what this little top looks like. It's really cute though. And I love this pattern. I feel like this teal and this like orangey kind of like floral mosaic pattern are really good for the it's fall. It's also the fall trend. Yeah, of retro print, mm -hmm. remember? I was so. gonna say, this looks like somebody's tile floor in the 70s. <laughs> Since I think Halloween and I don't think animal prints, right away this screamed to me Halloween colors. And then I, I realized this down. is probably like supposed to be kind of like tiger tiger but like tiger. kind of tie-dye ow <laughs> sweatpants oh. and they're a size medium and they're just wild fable but i'm sure we've said it a couple times the wild fable tie-dye stuff just sometimes really is good especially when it's like sweatpants mm -hmm. Dope. i think of this as halloween colors so that's what i'm gonna i kind of i'm gonna do too, like honestly. hashtag halloween or whatever on them. halloween let's <laughs> do some more wear? target oh this is adorable though this i love this is really this cute though so actually i picked oh, this up colors. in the bins wishing it would fit me because like kind of looks like it could it's also so it definitely cute. does like width wise and shoulder wise even but it is a woman's large and it's just universal thread not standard and it is that like quilted turtleneck that was so popular last year and it's every so single weird. brand made one. Free People started it, Forever 21 did it, Shein did it, Target did it. I think two of Target's brands did it. Like mm -hmm. literally this was the coat. It's so cute. And it is really cute. And like, I don't know, I thought this would look really cute and it would. It went So it now I need an extra large. It's just like, it goes to here and then it's like a little crop too. But this is kind of cool. It's like yeah. distressed color. I like that the color is like wearing away. So I mean That's like, really obviously cute. if you guys are interested since it doesn't fit me i can give you a good deal because it's just target you'll look cute you will this is like one of my favorite finds from the bin this is a really good i find. would never buy this brand at a thrift store really unless it was like a coat but i would have bought this at a thrift store but it was at the bins so it's a new tag club monaco which again, not not like my favorite brand. Really cute, you can't tell from there. Printed golden metallic skirt, but take a closer look at this print. I love this. Like this is insane. It's like Egyptian it's like hieroglyphs. hieroglyphs and like pyramid wall art. Like that's actually Oh my gosh. Cool. Like I love that. I love If you were a history teacher, how fun. Literally. That might be a little too small to be wearing if school, but like, you like put the, a pair of tights on underneath it, the high school girl in the history, like, club. That you, you can, can wear. Yeah. Oh, That's did I say it's a size four, I think? Yeah, so four. Cute. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, welcome to the 80s, getting your DeLorean. Was that 80s or is that 70s? That 80s. was 80s, yeah. Yeah, back to the future. This is White Stag, which I think, going on the, like, grocery store, Cold. continuing my trend, I think White Stag is, like, Walmart now. Is it? But oh. this, I'm pretty sure, uh, there's no way that it was Walmart at no. this point. Did Walmart exist in the 80s? Yes. Probably. This is like, I was thinking the retro print, a button shirt, so, so freaking 80s. Print. That's so cute. Look at this collar. Like, this is like, you turn and you slit someone's throat. It's so sharp. You just, with this. Take on a coworker. Literally. <laughs> Poor Janice. She never saw it. It was probably men's, but I can't read a The tag size. has unfortunately been lost. I think, I think in the 80s, men's wore collars like this. I think it's like a men's medium. So. It's cute, whatever Whatever that I translates to for you. Don't have to be a man to wear it. I love it. Okay. Next up for me, sold this t-shirt a couple times in the past. This was from regular Goodwill. I heart brunch, chaser size extra small, plain in the back. I love these like funny little chaser, like one-off phrase t-shirts. Okay, so the next up for me is a brand that I don't, I found it once before and I haven't found it again, but I found two I've pieces never, I've never found it. at this Goodwill. And the first one was new, but it had some flaws on it. 
Um, so I'm very excited about these. So the brand is Rami Bra New York. And this is so cute. It's so trendy. It's this cute little fitted, knitted little turtleneck with knitted, all knitted. these fitted, knitted with all these little buttons that go down. And I was like, I had a panic attack when I was taking pictures. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna cry. They're just thumb holes. They're on both sleeves. We love that for them. This one is, I believe an extra small if I'm not mistaken. Yes, extra small. So my next thing was a bins find. <clears throat> And this is by the brand called On The Road. And who On owns the them? On The Road again. Young Fabulous Young Broke. Fabulous Broke, there we go. I was like, it's somebody. So here is the little tag. On the road, super cute little like poncho looking thingy with the tassels on it. These do good in the fall because I think like people that don't live in like super cold climates yeah. also just like like to layer. Them. So it's I love that. It's a thin knit. So it is like, a very thin knit and mm -hmm. it's just like one size, like it's literally just open. Okay, so this was also a Goodwill find and I think this is perfect going into spooky season. This is Sanctuary size small. This haven't looked core. Yeah, haven't looked up yet to see if this is an anthropology ooh. piece. I just love like, ooh. That's an interesting color. I know, I've never seen this like it's really like fun. poison like, purple. Like pretty, uh, not pleated. This kind of fabric in this color yeah, before. Yeah, like pleated. I was very excited to find it. Then this is also from Lebin. So these are still so popular. Um, New York University, this one is a Jan Sport sweatshirt, size medium. Just good old classic navy blue, boxy crew neck. And this is gonna sell to one of the girlies, and I think we're gonna list it at $50 because the they're girlies expensive. will pay $50. They probably definitely will. Next up for me is a cloth and stone, which isn't always a brand I'm Ooh. like excited to find, especially in white. Yeah. But I think that this is a really cute one. This, this is cute though. This like slut, this is called slubbed cotton. Or like, is it gauze? I, I think Maybe? that's like another name for Good it. Question. Uh, this slubbed cotton like is really popular with some people. It's really soft. It also has like the cute like fringe around all the hems and stuff. I haven't looked up if it's anthro yet but I think it'll do good either way. It's really cute. Then I'm gonna see what else is bins. This is J. Crew. It's the new label and it's an XL, so it's a good size. Mm -hmm. These are really cute, like green linen drawstring joggers. It's really nice. What? They are cute. Oh. I like them. I like the color. I like green. Are you okay? No. 55% linen. Linen. They're super nice. They'd be light and also it's a pretty good color for fall. Light and eerie. Breezy and light and eerie and free and flowing. Is this like ASMR hour? No, but I think I'm crashing. Next up is a Goodwill find. And mm -hmm. this brand I have only found twice. And you I found like, it twice? Yeah. The first pair were like, oof. Oh. These are actually pretty cute. Um, these are by McGuire Denim, which is pretty expensive. <laughs> it's quite expensive. expensive. It's like, I didn't know, but it's like an anthro all the time. I think we've talked about these before. I, it's probably, like, I'm I feel sure like we've it's talked about McGuire Denim, yeah. But these I think are like the mom girlfriend or something. It's like a, it's like a hybrid between like girlfriend, boyfriend, and mom. It's like significant others moms. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's like right mother-in-law. Oh, That's what they are. Mother they're the mother-in-law. <laughs> but they're size 27 and they're pretty cute. They're much cuter, trust me, than the other ones they I found. They are super cute. Then this is also a bins find, not something I would buy at a normal thrift store, oh, even though it's warm. it's really nice. So like not bashing it. I just like modern day, not something I'd pick up. <laughs> it is I would pick this very up. big chunky sweater that's in a good fall orange. Like a good rust. rust orange. And it is Sparrow, which is anthropology Sparrow. size medium. I genuinely don't think they make Sparrow anymore. I don't know. But I guess, yeah, I don't really know. I feel like every now and again, they like resurrect <laughs> one of those brands to yeah. just like make one thing. Here is I found some extra another Bins find. And this is Denim and Supply Ralph Lauren, which I actually do really like to sell myself. It sells fast for me too. And this is a faux oh. fur oh. vest. Again, like not necessarily something like I would normally imagine picking up, but I love selling the brand. And also for people that do like faux fur i i mean personally not like my favorite but I for people that do fur. there are people that do is what i'm saying mm -hmm. like it's they like not, the look but they don't want to you can't just base like what you pick fur. up on your own opinions like there are other people His, that i like would literally things. just pick up jeans and t-shirts and, and that wouldn't end well i just realized it's xl so it's like oh, a good, good size too then this was a bins find as well this i was like what is this who is she so i was like oh it's a skirt because like, it looks like a LuLaRoe black skirt. Ooh. And I was like, oh, it has sleeves. Now I'm confused. Okay, so not a skirt. Then I was like, oh, it also has legs. <laughs> legs. 
Le eggs. Le eggs. So what? And so I look inside and I'm like, great, nothing. Perfect. But for some reason, Nothing. I guess I was so determined to know what this was. And it is Fabletics. So this is a Fabletics jumpsuit. And yeah, I'm gonna sell it myself. Cause I actually like Fabletics stuff. I usually like give it a try. And like, yeah, it can sell sometimes. And then sometimes it just like doesn't. It sells know. for me, but There's... I need to sit on it for a little bit longer than I would like to. There's no like you know? rhyme or reason. For like which no. ones sell and which ones don't, it just sometimes does. Sometimes, and sometimes yeah, I've doesn't. sold like the plain black ones, and then I've also sold like a neon geometric printed like set. And like it depends. There, I've had tops and hoodies that just no likes, nothing. I can sign them. And the leggings. And then I one time like, had a cropped sweatshirt that had a stain, and it sold really fast. So I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. Then, this is Loft. I don't think I've ever tried Loft. I've tried Loft once. I've once sold a Loft dress. Is that where the edgy trend I think this from? is cute. Or is that no, that was Ann Taylor. Was Medium loft. loft. I think that this is witchy core. This is adorable. Look at these sleeves. It is this beautiful, I would say like, <laughs> Cabernet Sauvignon color. And it has this bell sleeve. With these little, Stevie like, Nicks or something. Yeah, Hello? with these little, like ties. And oh, it's, that's it's just so like cool. when things call things wine Ooh. color, sometimes it's right, sometimes it's wrong. They're lions. But like the this is like this is like dark red wine. It's so color. cute. It's so pretty. So I'm gonna try it. I would too. Okay, so this came from Goodwill. <laughs> okay. Anyway, my alarm went off at seven o'clock this morning. It's just yeah, this you, time you're like, oh, that's super easy. But for me, <laughs> crawling out of bed at seven o'clock in the morning. Okay, so real quick, hello everyone who has come from Lori's channel. <laughs> Not, thank you for coming over here. But I saw last video, this someone had saying, commented. Addison's someone news. commented and was like, "What is with Ryan yawning so often?" It's and it, it had it had like eight thumbs ups, and I'm like, that must be the people who just showed up because Ryan yawns all the time. Every single video. And so, nobody nobody really knows why. I do not have Addison's disease. Thank you, everybody, for caring. Um, no, it's because of these box lights. I'm really light sensitive. So whenever I get in front of like really big bright lights, I yawn. It's just like a reflex. I don't know why. I don't have any disease. I'm fine. But today I'm actually really tired. I did tell so, him though, next physical, he should just ask out of curiosity, be like, why? And be like, for what? Because like, I don't. So. I wonder when I get glasses, if it's going to make anything any better. Oh no, we'll Which, have to deal with the like reflection like I am, theme. I'm gonna get a haircut and I'm gonna get glasses. New person. Like, I'm gonna look so different. On what's on Saturday, you'll be like, who's Jack with? Me. Okay, anyway, Urban Outfitters. This one is a size small, super cute, like micro plaid, really cute, little girly. Cute, it's kinda um, cute. Wide leg, really like adorable. little flare. Jumpsuit. Oh, I, I thought it was these. a dress. I know, I love the Urban Outfitters jumpsuits. They do quite well. Okay, then I found, so that was from regular Goodwill. This was also from regular Goodwill. If you remember when we talked about in the trend video, UNIF, the brand oh, UNIF. No, this UNIF. was last, wasn't this last, yes, last fall videos, we did sweaters. I think we had UNIF as one. Probably. Or as spooky, one of them. UNIF was in the fall videos. I found one. So here is the brand UNIF. Unfortunately, Homegirl done cut out all the tags of the sweater, which is wonderful. But oh, I used to. Uh, I, think I don't think they fake UNIF. Jailbreak sweater, maybe. Don't know. A really cute, boxy, cropped, striped sweater. Super fun, super fun. A little back. I absolutely love this. If this would have fit me, I would have bought it. And I'm really tempted to go on the Unif website tonight and put in a little purchase, but like, I need to be good. I'm trying to buy a house. Okay, so this was a bins find. Speaking of knits, this is Shein Curve, which is not a brand that I am super excited to pick up, but I thought this was super cute. It, and it's a 3X, but like, look at how cute this little tank top is. Oh, there we go. Look at how cute she is. She got this really fun little black corded detail. I'm actually gonna cry if I find out this was one of the designs they stole from somebody. No, I hope not. Like, I'm gonna be super upset. It makes me sad when you but find like, stuff, like knit stuff like this, and you know that on the website it was probably $8. I wanna say like machines but that can still, do that. But still, it's still just like, it's so like for $8 or whatever, 10. Please don't buy from Shein. That just makes me sad. Buy it for me, finding it in the bins to give it this poor garment a second life. And then I will do one more thing that I got from a regular Goodwill and then I got a couple more things. Um, so this is Joie. 
which is not a brand that I pick up a ton, but I could not leave this dress behind. It is crinkly silk and it's tiered. And look at that Witchy little ball. lace hem on the bottom with the, like the little like black flowers. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. Witchy core. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay. Okay, so I will real quick wrap mine up. This video, we've had technical difficulties, so we don't know how long this has been filming. Sorry. But I think this is a really long one. So this is TNA, which is Aritzia. This is extra small. TNA is like their athletic line. And these are just classic black high-rise leggings. Little leggings. Can't go wrong with just some classic black high-rise. Mm -hmm. Then, brand that I did not know made leggings. I did know they made leggings. Johnny made was. Leggings. These were not at the bins. These were at a Goodwill for like six bucks. These are extra small. And they're just some like they're embroidered so cute, gray they're leggings. They're so like well made. Like oh, they are. Wow. And I'm sure they retail at like two hundred dollars. They're probably like eighty million dollars. Mm -hmm. Then this is a new brand to me that I'm gonna try. I actually saw a few pair of these there, and like they retail kind of high, and they the comps are like all over the place. So I'm gonna try them because this pair is really cute. It's called Noli. The, <gasps> the eyes. <laughs> The eyes like cut off. My, so my mentor teacher today, she was like, oh, cause obviously like they know what I do. She was like, oh, I just got a pair of Noli leggings on Poshmark. I could hook you up. And these are camo and they have stars on them. Yeah, she so was, I like, was like, I love the fun prints they have. I was, yeah, I was like. You're kidding me. I was like, if I'm gonna try a that pair. That is so funny. I should send her a picture of If these. I'm gonna try a pair, I think I'm a safe bet with like camo star print. Ryan didn't want this in the bins. So I'm gonna try it. I know. It is Ecote size small, which is Urban Outfitters. And it's just like boho kimono. Boho kimono. It's cute, but like, I think I need to chill on some of the Urban Outfitters like kimono. <laughs> Stuff. Oh, that's on the screen. I thought that was on. And my last. Oh, thing, it is on me. I my like... last item. This is a brand called Sabo Skirt, and they make like ultra, ultra, ultra on trend things. The retail is not insanely, insanely high. It's probably like a hundred dollars for most things. They're just trendy. But like the value is like. Sticks. I have a sweater by them. It retailed at like 78. I have it listed for like 68 and it has like 40 likes. Like It's cute stuff. So mm -hmm. I was super excited to find this again. And this is a newer label, I think, than the sweater I have. And I need to figure out, sure, it just like ties in the front. Oh, it's a romper. It's a little is it like, a romper? yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like a, a little... striped, ter almost terry cloth. With it's like, not exactly. It's kind of like a skort romper. You'll tie it. Yeah, so it is really cute. I'm though. sure it has a super, super cute bottle picture and stuff. And Some bloggers. I'm very excited. Okay, so last up for me, this is Rami Brook again. So this is the older tag. This one is a size medium. There's the older label, and it's just this really cute, like, little black off the shoulder tank top. Then I found Faithful oh, I the, the light green. Yeah, I know. I was like, what is this? We have a window over there. Usually it's just like blocked completely, but the sun is set. <laughs> so today. Um, so this is Faithful the brand size medium. I was so excited. Faithful to find has this. been in one of our dress polos. This is such a cute little white top. I did like knot it at the bottom. Oh, I'm obsessed with this. I think it's so cute. And I think this is one of those ones that like people will wear like all the time. Like it's not like seasonal. So this is a new brand to me. Oh, so these two were from regular Goodwill, Faithful and that Rami Brook piece. This one was from the bins. It's called Carbon to Cobalt. And I was like, oh haha, ha, like a nice little new dress shirt for me. Um, but it's actually this brand's really expensive for men's stuff. So I was like, we'll give it a try. And I think it's really cute too. It's like trendier and it like is a little bit more business casual. I was gonna say that's just light. That's not like Notice a stain. Notice how the, the stain moves in the shirt. Or the stain doesn't move in the shirt. Anyway, um, so that one is a size large. This was a bin's find. It is a new tag, Chic Wish. Oh, Chic, Chic Wish. Wish, which if you don't know, they made that heart sweater like a year and a half ago, two years ago, before Janine 19 that everybody was Another like- Another one of those like bloggery, yes. like trendy. Um, but I just thought this was super cute. It's like a black, this neck, mock uh -huh. neck, mock neck, cause it doesn't fold over. Little like boxy sweater with this super cute, like contrasting striped It's like a poncho, detail. but also a pullover. And it's so soft. It's literally so soft. Okay, and then my final, final thing was a Ben's find, and I thought this was adorable. Also very Minnesotan. It's this super cute little <laughs> pair of Snoopy overalls with Woodstock, and it has all of these fun little things. It's got the little patches on it. It's got a little hammer keychain. It's very like Moschino meets. I know, and then these are um, tape measures. How cute is that? That's adorable. This is a size 24 months. Cute. So cute. Okay, and that's so. A, oh. And I got Sister a Scooby-Doo DVD. <laughs>
That's it. So <laughs> we are going to cut it off here. I'm uh, sure this is really long. Like I said, I cannot long. tell how long it is right now. But also with the editing, maybe it'll get like a couple minutes shorter. Who knows? But if you made it for this long in the video, there's a lot of new people here now. We should probably like say so what if when we pass video. 40 minutes, usually is how it started. When we pass 40 minutes to see who made it till the end, we would have everyone comment the number four. So if you made it this far. Yes. And if you want to say something else, say it all and then put a four, put a four in the beginning, whatever. Put a four in the middle. Or just don't do it at all. Okay. Just ignore us. I can see it. I can distinguish between a letter and yeah. a number. So if you've been here for this long, you know what to do now. And I will see you guys on I Thursday. We will see you guys I will see on Saturday. Saturday. And we With will my, after my haircut. Ooh. And next week, Maybe we are going to be doing the coat bolo on Tuesday, and then we're going to be doing the come research and development de 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 research and development with us on Thursday. It's going to be great. Very excited. So thank you guys for watching. Goodbye. Bye.